Hey guys, I want to share with you how we feed our dogs in our boarding and our training program. So basically all of our dogs are working for their meals. So they're either getting their meals fed to them through actively training with us, or we feed them out of an interactive food toy like a Kong. And the reason why these things are so valuable is because we are taking a very important currency to our dog, which is food, and we are providing it in a way that is mentally and physically enriching. So as opposed to taking this bowl and just handing it to your dog, and this is gone in a handful of seconds, we are able to provide them with a longer lasting interaction with their food where they're physically and mentally working to get it out of these types of toys. I think a lot of us use food as an emotional connection to our dogs because we feel guilty about the lack of time that we are able to spend with them. So it makes us feel better to give our dog that extra treat or cookie. It makes us feel better to put that dollop of wet food on top of their meals at the end of the day because they've spent all day home alone and that makes us feel better to provide our dog with love that comes in form of the food. So instead of using it as that emotional bridge, you want to actually use it to provide your dog with the experiences that they're missing out on, that mental and physical enrichment that they would be getting if they had to go and fend for themselves. So stray dogs spend all day foraging, hunting and searching for their meals. And that's how they get a lot of this energy out, both mentally and physically. So by providing our dogs meals and something that's interactive, this helps that um, aspect of their innate being that they go and scavenge and forage. And so you're able to tap into that part of your dog and provide them that experience that they need throughout the day to help them be a more calm and rounded animal. So what I'm gonna show you is how to stuff one of these in a manner that is going to be enriching for your dog. So if your dog has never used a Kong before, real simple, just take it, take your dog's kibble and put it in there. They're gonna bat it around and the food is gonna easily fall out and that's where you start. Then what you can do is become a little bit more complex in how you fill these things so it's more difficult to get out. So what I like to do is for those of you that use wet food, you can take some wet food or you can get some sort of other filling. Um, you can use yogurt. This is a, a pumpkin um, digestive supplement that I use with the dogs while they're here. Um, but you can use you know, all sorts of things. Get creative. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Kong and I'm gonna fill a little bit of the base with the dry food. And then instead of taking that dollop and putting it on top of the bowl of food that my dog would have eaten in a matter of seconds, I'm going to layer it in here. And what this is gonna do is it's going to really have to make my dog work and lick this all out of here to get the full meal. So I put in a dollop of wet, I put some more dry up on top, I'm gonna put in another little spoonful, fill it up again until it's all the way full to the top. And then I'm gonna take one little more spoonful and just kinda cover the top right there, okay? So this is what I'm gonna give to my dog and I'm gonna fill up as many of these as his meal for the day. So if your dog eats a cup, you take all, uh, I think it's about three of these that would equal a cup. You would take three of these, put their meals in here, and then give it to them to eat. So again, you're providing your dog with the mental and physical enrichment that they need, and all you've done is transferred food from one container to another, and this is gonna provide your dog with a lot of mental and physical stimulation, and that's all you need to do. So I like these things that you can add into your day that do doesn't take a lot of work from you because we all have tight schedules, but we can all do something very, very simple like this to make our dogs' lives more enriching. So I hope that helps. Have fun at mealtimes. And if you guys come up with any interesting ideas and creative um, feeding um, methods, send them my way. Let me know. All right? Take it easy.